Lumix has just launched a bunch of firmware updates for four cameras, which are the S5 Mark II X, the S5 Mark II, the GH6, and the GH5 Mark II. Amazing, yes. Let's start from this last two because they are different from our update from the one that we got for the S lineup cameras. So the GH6 and the GH5 Mark II are going to get the firmware update to be able to use the LiDAR system from DJI. So basically DJI is, we know, drone company, gimbal company, and so on. They have came up with the LiDAR system already um, a couple of years ago, and now they have the newest version that is amazing, that now you can, with Lumix cameras especially, you can create this amazing combination where you will basically connect the LiDAR to your gimbal and the camera, and that's it. You don't need the camera, uh, the, the, the app from DJI anymore, and you will literally be using the LiDAR to out of focus and to do whatever you have to do. And it's amazing because it allows you and open so many doors with the tracking, um, with the out of focusing, especially for the GH lineup, because they we are we don't have a camera except the G9, but it's not a GH, so we don't have any camera yet that can use autofocus. So now with the LiDAR from DJI you can use autofocus in these two uh, last GH cameras. It's amazing because this collaboration between DJI and Lumix, it's going to bring a lot of amazing things. Now let's pass to the S lineup. Basically the S5 Mark II and the S5 Mark II X got, just got a firmware update. And I actually tr have tried them. We will talk more about them in another video but there are not any surprise um, as most of us were wishing for. Like, we are not going to have any, um, any AF enchantment, for example, where we, will, we can finally use the new modes that the GH9 Mark II has, like the automobile, uh, the motorcycle, the animal, and then this new boxy on the eye of animals especially. So hopefully that will be changed. And instead of the cross for human, we will have now the box. So it will be more similar to the other uh, cameras. But, well, yeah, we are not having them. So what do we have? <laughs> we are going to get, as we talked already about um, in the other videos, three firmware updates plus one surprise firmware update. So the first one is the AF point scope. It's there. It's cool, but only for photography, which it's a little bit of a bummer. I hope they will make it for video too, because I think that's where it can actually be more useful or at least I haven't found a way to use it in video and I don't know why. If you know and if you have done it, please leave me a comment down below and tell me how to do it because for the moment, I found it only usable for photography, which makes sense because this update, it's only for the photography side of those cameras. So yeah, it is what it is. The second one is the high resolution mode this is what excited me and excites me the most and i can't wait to go out there and shoot and it's handheld so that's why it excites me the most is the first full frame camera that actually managed to use this high high res resolution um, without any compromises because other cameras out there, as many people wrote me down in a comment on my previous video, many cameras out there, there are some few of them that can actually do it. They are full frame, but you have to do compromises like tripod or they take a lot to load or so on and so on. This camera is handheld. It doesn't take that much time to, to actually load the combine the image in raw because the other ones, like Canon R5 one, don't have RAW. It's only JPEG, and you need a tripod. So, yeah, 
it's not the same. This is the first full frame camera that actually does it. And that's it. No discussion. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Then there is the manual focus magnification. Cool, it's there. It's only for photography. Again, hope this one will pass to videography too. Yes, it's a bummer, but please, Lumix, next firmware update, put this one even in videography. And as I said, I haven't found it a way to use it in videography. Please let me know if you have found a way. I went through them really quickly before this video so I can get this video out there for you. So if you have found any way, please leave me down below a comment on how you did um, so I can try it out too, <laughs> because until now, I haven't managed. Then the last point is the point that I was saying earlier. It's kind of a surprise point because it wasn't announced. And basically, I'll just read it. Um, it's basically an improvement of um, improve the switching speed between LCD and LVF. Improves viewfinder visibility between continuous shooting frame which this one is pretty, pretty cool because a lot of people have found problem with it. Me too, I never talked about it, but there is actually a little issue there. So it's good that they have immediately addressed it. And that's what Lumix is good at, addressing issues with firmware updates, not like other cameras out there. Um, yeah, <laughs> and uh, improved um, operational stability which it doesn't really specify which operational stabilities. So we just take it as they have improved some bags. That's it. <laughs> so what do you think about these firmware updates? Are they firmware updates that excite you? What actually excite you the most about this firmware update? Me personally, the high, um, the high resolution handheld, I got to try it out and then come, we'll come here and talk with you guys. So, yeah, what are you the most excited about on this new firmware update? And if you are a GH um, shooter, how is the LiDAR going for you? Um, actually, for the S-series cameras, the LiDAR is working already with the S5 Mark II and the S5 Mark II X, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. I try to not use gimbals at all. So, yeah, that's me. But let me know what you think. Thank you for coming here and hearing me blabbering. Download the firmware. Have fun with it. Let's have a talk down below. Let me know what did you find. Thank you again. Take good care of yourself and see you in the next one.